My dad had phenomenal work ethic. I mean, he was born in 1920. When he was nine years old, it was the, it was the Great Depression. He didn't know where his next meal was coming from. He didn't know where his, his clothing was gonna come from. So all those values are instilled in me. I'm still very conservative today because of that, because of all the stories my dad told me that um, people that had a lot of money lost it all in that Great Depression. In the middle of uh, my sophomore year, I chose to go into the College of Business, and I knew I wanted to be, I hate to say this, an accountant. And that may sound crazy, but I knew that I'd want to long-term be an entrepreneur, but the most important thing is I wanted to get the skill sets that would allow me to be the best success I could be if I had my own business. And I, I think when you pick a university, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. But I think the most important thing is, is the individual attention you get at FSU. That's what I felt. The teachers really cared. The one that made the most lasting impact was Joe Eiserman. I took an intermediate class from him, and it was probably the most challenged I'd ever been. And he was just an inspiration, just a, took an interest in me, um, took a personal interest um, in my success. To me, that's the most important. That's how you learn. You learn from those mentorships, and you learn from those relationships. The university did a tremendous job on outplacement and they were a tremendous advocate from a recruiting process. All of the top firms came to Florida State to recruit because they had great success with their prior FSU graduates. So they knew if they got an FSU graduate, they were gonna be a success at their firm. I ended up uh, selecting uh, Pete Marwick, KPMG, now they're called. Um, I went to go work for them as an intern. When I was 27 years old, um, I left uh, KPMG for an opportunity to work with one of my clients a company by the name of Silk Greenhouse. When I was leaving Silk, I, I knew I had acquired a lot of skill sets that I could use for the next business. So my partner and I, uh, actually my childhood friend, Stephen Esrick and I, always wanted to start a business together. So we had looked at and researched so many different types of businesses and industries. He calls me later that night and he goes, I've got a business we have to start. I think it's employee leasing. And I had heard about it when I was with Silk Greenhouse. And what it was is small employers um, would, would need payroll service and they couldn't buy health insurance um, inexpensively. It was very costly. So what, what an employee leasing company would do is go to the large um, insurance companies and, and tell them, I'll be another distribution arm for you. We were an outsourced human resource solution. And so that's why we called it National Business Solution. We grew it from uh, zero to about 240 million in five years. We knew at that point we had something great. I was given a presentation in Chicago for the industry, and it was probably about 80 to 100 people in the audience. And a gentleman was asking questions throughout the presentation. Didn't have a name tag on. So afterwards, I met him in the bar, and I saw him, and I said, listen, I said, you had some great question. Where are you from? He goes, I'm from Paychecks. And I said, that, that's great. And uh, he goes, we're thinking about getting in the industry. The next day I got a call from him and they wanted to set up a meeting with their mergers and acquisition group. And so we had a number in mind. We're at dinner, we haven't gotten an offer yet, we're wondering if we really messed up. So we get, go to the dessert bar, come back and he slides a napkin to us. And the napkin has a number bigger than we would have sold for. Of course, when we left there, we, we were jumping up and down in the elevator. Um, but to say no to that kind of offer and risk, but again, it's risk reward. Um, we ended up risking quite a bit. Within two days, we negotiated a deal 50% greater than that offer. But you have to have, be willing to take those risks and be able to walk away. And I'm um, very blessed that I had the life I've lived so far and to have the family I have, my wife and, and kids, uh, very, very lucky. I love going up to Florida State. I love going up there and visiting with the College of Business students, um, giving presentations. I get resumes all the time from them, um, from different students, or I'll get uh, a business plan to look at, and I'll try to critique it, um, give them guidance, give them some support. At this stage of my life, that's the most important thing, is um, be able to give back um, and being able to um, hopefully help another person have the same blessings I've had.